Today we're going to talk about measuring mass, and uh, as you can see, we're in the lab again, uh, measuring mass of objects. Um, mass is the amount of matter, or as you guys would say, stuff. It's how much stuff is inside an object. Uh, a lot of times people say mass is how much space objects take up, uh, and that's more volume. Uh, volume is how much space objects take up, and typically things that are more massive, they do take up more, uh, more space, but um, mass is a measure of how much stuff is inside an object uh, and that's something that doesn't change so uh, over time it can change but like if you you're, a lot of times your mass and your weight people use those terms interchangeably uh, but the biggest difference is your weight is determined by gravity but your mass is the stuff that's in you so if you could go to the moon you snap your fingers you're on the moon uh, your mass would stay the same what's inside you wouldn't change but your weight would be less because there's less gravity on the moon because the moon is smaller so um, that's the biggest difference is that gravity can change uh, depending on where you're at. Uh, your mass is going to stay the same because that's the stuff that's in you. Like I said, over time people can um, add to or take away from their mass um, by putting on weight or muscle or uh, whatever, uh, but it's not like uh, instantaneously that your mass is just going to change right away um, unless you have some sort of tragic accident. But All right. <clears throat> this bad boy is called a triple beam balance. It's called a triple beams because you've got one, two, and three beams. Uh, the little weights that, that ride on the beams are called the riders. Uh, and this is your pan. And then over here you've got your pointer. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the biggest thing I want you to make sure that you're aware of is that you start at, at zero. You're zeroed out. Um, and then your weights are zeroed out as well. Uh, you, you find an object, place it on the pan, okay? Your pointer went up, and now what you have to do is start with your hundreds rider. Um, my biggest recommendation as you do this is that you make sure that that notch, the, the arrow sits down in that notch, and you can, you can feel it, you can hear it sit down right there. It kind of goes ka-chink, ka-chink, ka-chink. Okay, so when you slide this, <clears throat> that's too much. That's too much weight. Okay, so you slide that rider back. Now I go to my tens. Let me pull back a smidge. You slide over ten at a time. So there's no more than ten, more than twenty, more than thirty, oop, more than forty, more than fifty, more than sixty, more than seventy, more than eighty. But at 90, it, it dropped down. So I need to go back to 80. And now is where I go to my, my ones. And this goes up by 0.1 grams. So pretty specific. So you just keep sliding it. Once it starts moving, then you slow yourself down a bit. Uh, and you're trying to get it so that... That's, oops. My big finger tags the rider. So I was a little bit for a little bit too far, so you back it up just a smidge. I'm trying to get it so that it's pointing right at the line. It's pretty darn close. So then to find the total mass, so I have zero hundreds, and then it'd be 80 plus 8.3. So your total mass would be 88.3 or 88.4, and then our units are grams. Okay, um, so you're going to have a lot of practice doing that. Uh, just make sure that the biggest thing is that the little arrows sit down in those notches that way because you can't say without doubt that you couldn't, you can't get it to, me, get it to balance and have it sitting like here and be like, oh, well, that's 75. You have no idea. You might be close, but you need to make sure that that arrow sits in that in a little notch every single time that way you know for sure what the mass of that those riders are the weight what the weights are so that uh, you can get an accurate measurement um, tomorrow we'll be dealing stuff with measuring volume which is how much space objects take up uh, we'll be using graduated cylinders little big boys hanging out up here 
and then uh, we find how much space things take up. So uh, keep practicing, keep practicing measuring length. Hey, Albert. Hey. Uh, just make sure you see me with any questions, practice stuff on Canvas. Um, this should be a pretty pretty good unit, uh, good good quiz for you guys. So we're still a week, week and a half, two weeks out. Uh, we're going to do some metric conversions later. And um, what else we got? That's about it. All right. Good luck. We'll see you.